Hello fellow wand lovers and welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to show off our alliance space. Our leader has put a lot of work and effort into it, so I hope you'll enjoy. The main building is a big tower with a tree on top. The tree was added before we even knew Alliance Mag was going to be a thing. I think it originally was supposed to be a pseudo-Alliance tree. On the first floor of the main building we have our bulletin board and our mag. We will explore the main building more later, but first let's look around outside. There is a bridge here connecting to some houses for our alliance members. Unfortunately, we've reached the placement limit, so a lot of these don't have furniture. Oh! Seems someone is taking a break in front of their house. Let's not bother them. Here we have the saloon. The perfect place to unwind after a day's worth of grinding. You can even see our alliance emblem in here. We have it in a couple other locations as well. On the second floor there is a terrace. On the third floor there is a fountain with a little bunny hologram. Our leader is a certified bunny enjoyer so we gotta have them around. On the fourth floor there is an amphitheater. We watch movies on weekends, so our alliance space needs to have one of those. Now, let's see where these bridges will take us. Here is a small guard outpost. Though honestly it's more of a camping place than anything else. Here we have really big containers. Wanna know what's inside? Drugs. Gotta afford these AC scratches somehow. And here is the med bay. This is where your local nurse, Kathy, takes care of all your wounds. Not only physical wounds, but also psychological, existential, and omnidimensional wounds. The med bay also has a landing path. We used to have an ARCS ship floating above base, but unfortunately had to get rid of it to meet the build part limit. I'm sure it'll make a return in our second alliance space eventually. Going back to the saloon, there is a door here that leads to the second part of the residential area. Here is Ali's house. And this one is mine. I really wish we had a bigger build part limit for alliance spaces, so we could decorate this part to make it look more lived in. Taking this bridge will take us back to the main building. We can see the first floor with the alliance mag from here. On the second floor we have the mess hall. If we could, we'd put an NPC here to get our food buffs. Of course, we also have a very fancy kitchen in here. Our members eat only the best food. Crisp boundless pepperoni pizza. On the floor above, we have the boundless archives. These offer some neat facts about our alliance, like our previous leaders, or when this alliance space was finished. I love sunsets in this game. They're so beautiful. And here we have the command room. We're greeted by a big bunny. And over here at the desk is our fearless leader, Ames. They built the entire alliance space by themselves, so huge shout out for all the work and effort put into this place. 
I really love how this place turned out. Unfortunately, we've reached the limit for this space, otherwise things would be even more decorated. Hopefully things like residential districts will be remedied with a second alliance space. By the way, if you want to join Boundless you are more than welcome to. We're a semi-casual alliance that focuses on having fun above anything else. As long as you bring good vibes with you, you're more than welcome. DM me on Discord to get in touch, I will send an invite as soon as I'm available. You can also just visit the space yourself if you want, I'll provide the code in the description. But that's about it for this showcase. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm personally very happy that alliances are getting more fleshed out again. Guilds are a very important part of any MMO. And to be honest, without my friends over at Boundless I wouldn't have nearly as much fun with the game as I do now. But that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Take care!